Hello everyone, my name is Pacha and welcome to this little special build that I have done for the Planet Zoo Animal Grasslands DLC that will be released today when you are watching this video. Um, I don't know if I'm releasing the video before or after the official release, but you can be sure that when, yeah, when this video is out, the DLC will be out as well. And as you can see, um, because I'm already having a video out on this DLC, I was lucky enough to get an early access by Frontier. So thanks, big thanks to Frontier, to Holly to, and to, to Cat for giving me the opportunity to have, to have all early access for this DLC. And yeah, to build something for you guys. You might have seen my um, showcase video yesterday where I showed every f new things about uh, this DLC and the update uh, 1.12 in, sh in a short, not short, in a video yesterday. And there I told you that I will do have a second video out with a special build for one of the new animals that we get with this DLC. And this, yeah, this, this, this is a build and we are building for, I think, my favorite animal of the pack and this is the main wolf. Um, the main wolf was always a big favorite of mine um, when it comes to animals in general and yeah I was always a little bit sad that we didn't don't have them in the game and I always wished for the last three years that one DLC would give them to us uh, because they are very special and very unique um, species of canine uh, but now now we have it <laughs> now we have it with the 12th DLC um, which all, all, all on itself is already crazy that we are having our 12 DLCs in and there are still no end in sight so uh, we can only hope that we still get more content in the future but let's talk about the habitat and my inspiration for it because so far you haven't seen much you only see me building um, yeah, a tile terrace and now some walls. Yes, um, I don't know if, if I don't know you guys, but when I think about main wolf, um, I always have to think about this one video uh, that is available on YouTube, and I think uh, a few of you already have seen of this main wolf uh, walking up some stone stairs somewhere in South America, and then eating a bowl of I think it was chicken wings or chicken bones or anything while people are standing around it and watching it and um, it always kind of was crazy for me to see this yeah this wild canine this wild animal just walking up some uh, some human made stairs and eating some uh, leftovers and people being around them and he has no problem with it and this was kind of an inspiration with this terrace that we are building and this yeah um, house in the background to have to kind of like recreate that scene of this famous video of a main wolf. Uh, not as high as it is in the original. There the steps are really high, um, but still kind of that direction. And then have also have a little bit of reverse habitat immersion with the uh, viewing area that has the same tile, the same floor as the eating area for the main wolf. Um, and we will still later have the eating yeah eating bowl um the food enrichment or the food bowl in that place so they will come up to that place when they eat you always already saw that kind of bit in the preview shots and you can maybe see it in the uh, real time part at the end but we will have to see but yeah um, i also looked it up what this habitat is or what this place is where the main the main dog where the main wolf <laughs> can walk up to and are eating yeah, kind of human food. And it's a monastery, uh, if I'm not incorrect, a monastery in Brazil called the Santuario do Caraca. Uh, I hope I didn't, um, yeah, I hope I pronounced correctly, probably not. And I probably butchered the name com uh, completely. Um, yeah, as I said, it's a monastery or uh, like a big church complex. And this... Um, this occurrence with the with the main wolves coming up and eating there is actually like a long, long, very long tradition there. And um, the main wolf is even part of the monastery's coat of arms or the, their flag. So they have their building on this coat of arms and a little very cute, cute drawn main wolf beside that. So it's very m known for main wolves coming up there and eating there. They are, they are used to humans. Um, we can't talk about how good or bad that is that they get used to eating human food um, but yeah it, it is a tradition for them to 
yeah to be there and uh, to be to be around humans so that's why they are not as afraid as wild ones would be and yeah I, I kind of went with this idea of this place and I thought um, what is yeah main wolves live in uh, in the very steppe and savanna like areas of, of of South America and what could I do to emphasize this also a bit um, and I thought about yeah what is what are these prairies also known for and that is the casitas um, the haciendas more I should more call them so these big farmhouse complexes um, casita means a little house hacienda is more the big one and I thought why not build this yeah a little bit Spanish uh, Mexican South American um, styled house for them which can also act as their indoor area there is no indoor area as for now but we could have an indoor area for them in here behind the doors um, so kind of like that so the setting would be kind of like in a South American style zoo or South American style part of the zoo where it would have really much a lot of theming um, the habitat walls are also made of uh, yeah also kind of like styled like hacienda farm walls like a courtyard uh, it will be in the end the outside area so this is the kind of idea I went with here to really emphasize the South American uh, heritage of the main wolf um, and I think in the end I we will also see it in the end of the video it looks really cool uh, I wasn't even, I wasn't really sure when I started building it I was a little bit um, I mean, you get the uh, you get the, um, the um, message that you have early access to the pack, and then you have to find you have to find an idea of what you want to build um, for this DLC, and of course it has to be something a little bit more special. Uh, I could I couldn't just uh, um, put them in Raven Creek or or Eye of the Wild simply with a simple build. I I want to create something special to also say thank you to Frontier for giving me early access. So I thought about yeah what what really emphasizes for me prairies in South America and yeah the main wolf is like this very special um, carnivore of the of the of, of the South American prairies I, I know there's an, a special name for it I just forgot it but yeah then the, having this hacienda built and then the scene from the with the main wolf walking up the stairs to feed was really I think what settled it for me to build that in the end uh, and having this like it's like a courtyard. Where the, they live, kind of like a little bit like house dogs, but not really because they're wild and <laughs> they don't, don't look like any dog, uh, really. But yeah, um, I hope you liked it. Um, and if you so, we maybe can also have some inspiration. It might be that I will put it on the workshop. I um, haven't looked into that yet. If I can blueprint everything, or if I just will upload the map and then you can blueprint out stuff out for you. But yeah, if you want. Um, leave me, let me know in the comments if you want to have it on the workshop so you can use it for yourself in your zoo um, or you can build a zoo around it, it's kind of like that. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, but we are also here um, because I want to talk a bit about the DLC itself and the update I think also in the same in the same yeah, breath um, because it's a good DLC. Uh, let's, just, uh, let's put that out first. It's a strong a solid DLC. Um, it's, it's if it's worth to be the 12th DLC and to be the last DLC of the year. I don't know. Uh, I'm I think not a bright person to judge that. Uh, that I would leave to you guys. Um, I think it's a, ni a really nice DLC, a strong DLC in terms of what animals we get, because uh, some most of them are were highly requested for ages. And to have them now in this pack, because grasslands is still one of the biggest yeah, areas of world in terms of biomes. So um, having that is really cool. Some of the choices in, the, in terms of what animals we got are not weird, but um, I would have preferred maybe something else. Um, I know the animals itself all, all look amazing. You saw that in yesterday's video. So I have no problem with the design or look of the animals, but... Um, especially for example the uh, blue wildebeest I could also have seen a different um, ungulate in that place if it has to be an ungulate I could have seen some a different antelope or something or like a saiga antelope from Asia uh, we have also this a little bit in, the, in this representation um, because you only have South America Africa and Australia with this pack but yeah something like that would be have, would have been cool um, of course, the whole problem with the, uh, the striped hyena, I don't know yet. 
if it's fixed, so the recording I make is before the update comes out. So I don't know if it's getting fixed or not. I know they're looking into it. But yeah, um, the whole problem with that uh, is a thing. And uh, also, I, I'm still missing some animals in this pack um, that would have been really cool, like um, the secretary bird, the cr um, crowned crane, um, animals like the African porcupine. So also really typical grassland animals. Uh, these are really cool. Um, still, it's a nice animal. It's a nice pack. It's a solid pack. I get. A couple of really amazing animals like the armadillo, the main wolf and the emu which we have been waiting for for ages um, as well as yeah, a smaller kangaroo and the caracal another small cat which I really like another uh, another wildebeest and another hyena so solid animals as I said just maybe some different animals would also have been cool but uh, we don't know what we get in the future and what frontier is planning the um butterflies are also an uh, interesting addition and um, they are really cool um i will more potentially build a habitat for them or i will have a use for them it's not like the fruit bats which i still can't use to this day or at least i don't have plans for them yet but butterflies are a cool addition. Um, sadly, they are a bit strict in what how we can use them, as we can't deactivate all enrichment items in them, like the little butterfly houses. These will always stick or will always be there. Um, yeah, and so making a, a really like a natural scene with the butterflies, just having them like a little bit of uh, atmospheric uh, cluttering in the in the air. It gets a little bit uh, um, hard with these butterfly houses. I mean, we could put trees over it, I think, but even that, uh, we have to. See, I have to see what I can do with them. But yeah, um, talking about stop. Uh, we have talked about the DLC. Let's talk about the update. Um, well, it, it's there. <laughs> I have to say, um, stuff like the bulldozer tool. I wasn't sure about f first. Um, kind of, I can see now the uh, appeal of it because it really makes things easier for example deleting uh, binges and bands or something or deleting stuff in mass without clicking everything so this is really helpful so the bulldozer tool is a nice addition um yeah would I, would it be is it really needed no not really but it's nice to have it um the the guided tours are also a nice addition to giving more of a realistic feeling to the zoo so also, that is nice, um, but it's nothing what I have would, would have re really needed. But it's nice to have them and to give more immersion. And um, they can kind of block off paths. Uh, this is, so this is a thing. Other than that, they are kind of cool. I have to play around a little bit more with them to really see the potential. And the diorama mode for um, the game modes, uh, I don't really see a reason to have that. I know, I know it was a big trend, um, but it was like a year ago. Um, nothing, <laughs> nothing, nothing being mean to be, uh, I don't need mean to be mean about, uh, about it. Rudy did an amazing job and all the other people who made one. Uh, I also know, know Leaf made some really amazing dioramas. But this mode always a year or one and a half years after it, the hype. I don't know, it, it feels a little bit uh, useless. Um, I don't know how many people will use it. Um, I know it wasn't part of my showcase video, of my update video, but uh, because I didn't really see the reason for it. Um, can be cool, can be not be cool, can be useful, I don't know, um, for people, but for me it, it doesn't feel special enough to be in an update. Uh, but. So maybe some people can use it and, and have a use for it. Then I have nothing to say about that. But yeah, uh, update, it's okay. It's nothing gradual, it's nothing too crazy. It's okay, it's fine. Um, there are some nice additions. Uh, so we can now see the viewing areas of people. Or we don't see what people can see. But we see where people will most likely stay or stand to see the animals. Which can be really helpful when designing habitats. So we can control if people will clock up in certain areas that we don't want them to clock up because they can animals can see the animals better there you can by the way access this view via the heat map area and then i think under the habitat view where you also can see where the animals can walk and everything you also see um the guest view places i think yearly uh 
uh, at the moment and a few in a few days or something like that. I have not really looked into it, but yeah, something like that. So, so this is really cool. So these small little changes and the DLC is a very solid one with some nice additions, as I said. I will leave you now to the rest of the video uh, with some music and then I see you in the end with the real time part where we go over the whole habitat. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it so far. I see you in the end of the video. All right, here we are now in the real time part in front of our little casita, hacienda, whatever you want to call it. And we are, all, yeah, as I said, nothing really around it because it's like a special build. And we have a path to the left and a path to the right. I think we take the path to the right first. I don't think it is feeding time at the moment, but maybe we are still lucky. Ah, oh, no, they are in the background. <laughs> but yeah, this is the little area and um, there is a bench missing here. There was a bench here. Uh, I don't know where this went, but this is just a little sh a viewing area um, where for the feeding time they come to this feeding bowl when it's yeah when when it's food time and eat there. So like in the video, if you haven't seen it, maybe yeah, just Google main wolf on YouTube and one of the first videos will be the one where the main wolf comes up here and then goes to feed here. There are a few people. Ah, there is one. Hello. No, he's running around. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the, uh, a missing bench here. And then we have some information about the main wolf with one of these new awesome the animal signs that we got with the DLC for free. So just a decoration. It's a very old building, so that's, that's why it's a little broken down. We also see some of the new plants here, um, some of the new grasses in front. And here we have a second viewing window, like a little bit of a crack in the wall. Um, where we can look into the also have a little puppy, which is really cute. And yeah, this this big tree in the center as for giving them shade. It looks works really cool. I, I really like how it turned out. Then we have a little bit of an open area here with some, also some of the new grasses, which are really cool. You can also take a look at them running around, having fun. Really, really cool. I, I like how it turned out. And then we have the last viewing area here, which is kind uh, is meant to be kind of like the entrance gate where you would walk into the house uh, normally. But of course, this is an, it's a habitat, so it's closed off. But yeah, this serves kind of like the entrance to the building area uh, if it would be a, a real building where people live. And behind here is just the maintenance path for our keepers. We can also get go in and take a little of a closer look at our. Oh, this was a cacti <laughs> of our little yeah, main wolf family here with a little puppy <laughs> running around. Hello, little one. Really cute. They are born black. Oh, one of the of the of the, of the elders is going up. Um, they actually are born black and will turn this orange coat yet later. But yeah, from the event with a little bit of an older stage where they are slowly getting orange but yeah i just love how they look they of course they look a lot like foxes because they are closely related to foxes and then they have these really long yeah these really long legs which are yeah which are an evolutionary trait of them uh, walking amongst the long grass of the cerrado <laughs> I, I looked it up what's the grass that in south america is called the cerrado or serrata uh, so they, they adapted to that with building these, having these huge long legs to look over the grass, 
seeing uh, their prey. But as you can see in the background, they are actually kind of omnivores, so they also eat a lot of fruits and other vegetables. And there's even, I think, an entire plant um, that is that is kind of dependent on them and on eating uh, on being eaten of them because they disperse the seeds of this plant. But yeah, um, really like how it turned out in the end. Um, we can look at look. It's very from above, really not that big. Kind of happy how it turned out. Of course, there would other stuff be around. So, um, as I said, if you want, I can t put it on the workshop for you guys to use. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. And I hope you enjoyed uh, my little build for the Grassland Pack, which will be out today. It maybe it's already out today for you guys to also buy and download. It really oh. is worth the money. If you, if you like these animals, uh, then, of course, then I, I highly suggest building it, uh, buying it. And yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave me down, leave me a like down below if you if you liked it, and maybe also a comment to tell me what you are most excited for of the DLC. And I hope I see you in the next video. And until then, stay safe, have a great time, and bye bye.